a member of the European Union, an Irish politician, Claire Daly, calls out the hypocrisy of the European Union to their face when it comes to Africa. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back. The Western media shows two warlords, two rival military factions, ordinary people frightened and fleeing, but nothing explained, no context, no responsibility. The European elites throw up their hands and wonder how shall we swoop in and save the Africans from themselves. But there's no mention of European funding, external border policies, the financing of state forces to round up desperate people migrating north to stop them reaching Europe. We've removed our fingerprints from this disaster and we pretend it comes from nowhere. I agree that we need peace, but how? As usual, this isn't about what we must do, but what we've got to stop doing. Sudan needs civilian government. Sudan needs economic justice. It needs an end to militarised extractivism in rural communities driven by the circuits of Western capital. That's the cause of the decades of instability and suffering in Sudan. If we stop paying the warlords wages, maybe then the people of Sudan would have a chance at civilian government. This is not her first time calling out her own people. She does it here and there and they don't like her. Like it is so clear that the other European Parliament members do not care for her, but she still um, exposes their hypocrisy, double standards and evil ways. The state sponsor of terrorism is a term of US law. It doesn't exist in EU law. But a Zelensky advisor called for it in the Parliament magazine, and here we are again reporting for duty. And all it will do is make peace harder to achieve. Exactly, of course, what the extremists want. No peace, no off-ramps, all bridges burning, and Ukraine a permanent abattoir in a suicidal holy crusade against Russia. So, if you want to start naming state sponsors of terrorism, let's do it. European sponsorship of Israeli terrorism in Palestine, Western sponsorship of Saudi terror in Yemen, ISIS, the product of French, American, British, Turkish and Gulf sponsorship in Syria and Iraq, decades of right-wing US-backed terrorism against the Cuban revolution, the Contras in Nicaragua, death squads in Guatemala, in El Salvador, remember Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, horror after horror, terror after terror. There's nothing constructive about the pot calling the kettle black. Would you ever cop on, start championing peace and enter the war which is patently in the interests of EU, Ukrainian and Russian citizens? The bottom line is she is correct. The European Union act like they are deaf and they are blind when it comes to African countries and the conflict that we face. They act like they have nothing to do with it. They act like they don't support um, an agenda. They don't support a rebel group. They don't support a coup. They act like there's nothing to see there and there's, there are saviors. They hold a meeting and say, we need to fix this. We need to help African countries, which they know they have contributed to that war, to that conflict. And it is good to see their own holding them accountable. And we shall see if they're going to respond to her claims and comments. I'm pretty sure they're gonna act like they haven't heard it and move on, but we will not let them get away with this. They might have been able to get away with it up until this point, but the youth is waking up. The youth is saying no more.